Welcome guys to the second lecture for tracking. Now in the previous lecture, if you remember, we created the tracker one and we created all the keyframes and the motion path for tracking. If you press U, you'll find out that we had a feature center, confidence and the attach point. So we attach everything to this attach point. Fine, how do I do that? In your absence, I created a simple animation that uh, does just like a radar, a small radar. Nothing much, it's very simple. Uh, we, I don't care about this animation, but I want to show you how to post a pre-comp and using this animation. I'll go back, I think there is a small mistake, yes. We are going to make it 30 seconds all the way. Fine, let's come here and now we want to attach the radar to the man here. How do we do that? First of all, let's drop radar inside our comp. So it's over here. We come to our layer, we go to our layer panel, we open our tracker and we have here our tracker. So how do you do it? Using the tracker panel. You come to edit target and here we can have a radar. Also we can have effect point, but we have only here radar. So we'll choose radar and we click OK. Now, if you click OK, I'll come to radar and open its position. I will show you how. Nothing happens to radar here. And it's not following the tracker. What you have to do is to apply. And notice what's going to happen to the position when I apply. If I click apply, it will ask me apply dimension X, Y. You can apply X only or Y only. But most of the time we go for X, Y. I will click OK. Now, notice exactly in the position of radar, it copied the keyframes, all of them, it's like a copy paste. It's not a link. So if you change any value from the attach point, it will not change in the position of the radar. We are in our composition. Let's run a RAM preview. I will open it a bit here and we go to preview and run a RAM preview. Here you are, your radar is following 100% our track. If we deselect, you can see it nicely. It is following. But you notice now we have a slight problem here. I want to adjust it that uh, this uh, pole is coming, you know, behind the radar, something like this, which is not very normal. We can adjust this one using the masks. This is how I'm going to do it. OK, I will show you because I want to show you because it's nice. I will take another layer that is the same video and I will drop it above the or above all. OK and uh, come here and say okay i want to use the pen tool to create a mask i will zoom in here and start creating a mask for the layer as simple as this i'm not gonna be careful here just want to show you it's not gonna look perfect but it's gonna look somehow okay cool and here and here you are with a small bend here okay and here with a small bent also something like this and we close it it is not perfect but it will do the job now this layer has been masked so the only thing about that we show from this layer is the pole and here you are you have fixed your problem i will remove the sound from both of them let's view it at 100 percent and we come over here for example we put radar on and we try it now the radar will come behind the pole. I would deselect pressing F2 and you can see it. Let's bring it over here. And here you are. Your pole is in front of the radar. It's not 100% perfect. You must come back and adjust the mask. Fine. So this has been done. In the next lecture, we will be attaching an effect to the attach point and see how we can move it using the offset. I will see you in the next lecture.